Chapter 24 Escape The Emporium's decay was speeding up. The cracks in the walls grew and chunks of stone began to break away. The one shining black brick seemed dull and lifeless. Lamps had flickered out and could not be relit. Doors began to lock without explanation. A strange illness was beginning to strike the staff. They became weak and fevered. Daniel felt it too. His connection with the shop was fading. There were frightening moments when he found himself lost and confused, only for his knowledge to return. Several times Sharp left the Emporium at night, complaining that he needed to eat, though Daniel had never seen anything pass his lips except whiskey. When Sharp was gone, Daniel sometimes found himself hoping that he wouldn't come back. The uneasy feeling in his gut was getting stronger, and the more time he spent with the magician, the more positively Daniel felt that he was hiding something. One night when Sharp was out, Daniel checked in on his friends. Caleb was revelling in his role as organiser. Every day he'd be sending out groups of vendors and performers to the increasingly dangerous far reaches of the Emporium. There were phantom sightings and false alarms, but no Mr Silver and no Ellie. We've discovered a long lost part of the Emporium, Caleb told Daniel. A secret tunnel. It'll take days to properly search it, and Ellie has gone with the expedition. They won't find him, said Daniel, and he told Caleb about his attempt to write in the book and the door that almost ate him. So you think Silver is alive, said Caleb. That's great news. Maybe, said Daniel. But why doesn't he want anyone to find him? What's he doing? What's he so scared of? We should call off the search party, said Caleb. Agreed, said Daniel. And the thought that Ellie would finally be coming back cheered him. He missed her. He missed how she made him happy and angry and want to tear his hair out all the time. And he had been terrified that something would happen to her that she'd be caught in one of the crumbling wonders as it self-destructed. He hoped she'd be able to help him work out what was going on, and just having her around would make him less nervous about spending the time with Sharp.